and welcome to the Soil Inventory Talk Show. My name is Grace Royro, a farmer and an agronomist. I'm so glad that you had time and chance to be here with me today to do this video. So today I'll be speaking about two things. That's agroecology and conservation agriculture. Agroecology, uh, I'll start from the definition of what ecology is. Ecology is the relationship between plants, animals, and the people, and its balance. I'll say that in, um, in, in simplicity. And then agroecology is where we bring these concepts of ecology into the farming aspects. And so we say agroecology in simple terms would be sustainable farming in balancing with all this nature. So one of the ways that as a farmer or farmers would adopt agroecology is by having trees. And that is practicing agroforestry in their farms. So there are very many beneficial trees in the farm that you can use. One of them is the Graveria Robusta, which is very nice for fodder, but also in mulch and also does not compete as much with the crops. So that means it's suitable to, do, to have the Graveria trees uh, alongside your crops. So farmers too can be in the conversation of saying that they are taking care of the environment and nature through agroforestry. And that means they will also be contributing to what we are calling agroecology. On to the next thing I would say, uh, conservation agriculture is a concept that we keep preaching right now, especially when our soils are so depleted, but also because we're experiencing climate change. And I'll be showing you uh, what currently we are doing in the farmer's fields. Instead of using the normal disc and the moldboard plow that we are used to, we are now using chisel and reapers because one of the things is that it does not turn the soil um, in simple terms, but also it takes care of the, of the soil by not by minimal disturbance of the soil that we call minimum tillage. We've done a video before and we have shown the various benefits and we have discussed in depth with some of my colleagues. There are a few things about conservation agriculture. Yeah, James, hi. So what are the benefits of conservation agriculture? Uh, conservation agriculture, I can start by first of all explaining what are the principles of conservation agriculture. And the first and the most important principle is the principle of minimum tillage or minimum soil disturbance. That is the most fundamental principle. Uh, so that means that we will only disturb the soil for the purposes of placing the seed and the fertilizer. So the soil is only disturbed where we plant. So in this field, that's what happened. We only opened up the soil where now we planted the maize. And the benefits are amazing when it comes to minimum tillage because much of the water that was, uh, that was underneath the soil was still retained. So when we planted, the, the soil still had some moisture. The benefits of have, uh, practicing conservation agriculture and by using um, minimum tillage, that is the chisel plow, the um, reaper, and and how they take care of the of the soil. So I'll be showing you a video of how the chisel plow works, but also a small snippet of how, as a farmer, you can adopt agroecology in your farm so that you can be part of what is going on when we are saying we are mitigating climate change um, crisis and uh, we are taking care of the environment that farmers too are partakers of. This is how a chisel plow works and you can see that we are not turning the soil but we are just creating those um, rip lines where we will be putting our seed. Uh, the field was heavily infested by the weeds. Let's look at how marvelous the chisel plow works. happens when you don't transplant all the trees from your tree nursery and they have grown into a small forest which is still okay we did transplant a number but I came to just check on the tree nursery how we are doing but check out this we already have a small forest over here from a tree nursery yeah but we love it because this is to say or encourage if farmers have enough space in their field, they can raise tree nurseries for their own. They don't have to keep purchasing the trees. They can have their own nurseries where they just pick the trees and transplant. But in case the portion of land that they have is too small, then they can purchase the trees and put them in the field. This portion over here, then of course we are doing. This is the Graveria Robusta tree here, with the potatoes. 
we have always maintained this area. It's a tree area where we plant our, our trees, but also just leave it. We do not farm this specific portion. It's like a reserved area for trees and taking care of this farm environment. So we so that's do it that I had for today. Till next time, remember to stay blessed and productive. Bye-bye.